Let's get into the Charleston White. That's why we had got yeah. our headphones yeah. going. So. Woody got a retarded daughter. Shit, yeah, Woody got a retarded shit. baby. Nigga, my baby ain't retarded. Nigga, my that's baby graduated up. 16. Woody got an autistic retarded daughter with a with a uh with a with a wooden leg. Yeah, nigga daughter walking with a wooden leg with a with a uh disabled malfunction body. Man, that nigga better shut up, nigga. Mama dead, daughter retarded with a malfunctioning leg. Man, tell Woody and that other whole ass nigga to hush their motherfucking mouth, nigga. My baby in college is 16 years old, nigga. And he, nigga, please. You gonna get your kid he got killed, a retarded nigga. baby. Thank God I ain't got no motherfucking retarded motherfucking baby. He gonna get that his nigga son produced, killed. That's them retarded genes. That's them motherfucking retardation genes. That boy done made a retarded little girl with a... Yeah, Woody made a retarded baby with a leg with a forest gum. He need to buy that baby some braces. <laughs> he needs to buy that little baby some leg braces. The little retarded motherfucker. And she violent like him. Woody got a That shit ain't cool, no bro. Chill, that shit not cool. No nah. Chill, that nigga would get no chuckles from me. That shit ain't uh, cool. I ain't gonna lie. Got no, he don't got no chill. Talking about niggas' kids and shit, bro. I'm, that I'm shit weird. Especially a kid that's slow. That's weird as fuck. Yeah, nah. I'm chuckling. Kid got a disability. Really you tripping. Cause. That's what I was chuckling for. Like, cuz. Hey, he tripping. Nah. So I, he I, tripping. I'm chuckling. Hey, turn it, turn I'm chuckling that a grown man thinks that that's acceptable in any capacity or even like funny. Like, Who's going to laugh at something like that? Yeah, nah, especially a kid with a disability. That's how. Yeah, you I don't laugh at no, no disabled. Yeah, I'm not a, a, a disabled adult to say, like, a nigga, nigga got some type of disability, you got it. Especially, like, a mental one. Some shit you can't control, some shit you was born with, you'll never hear me, you feel me, say nothing about that. Nick Felder, niggas, but don't let me realize it, nigga. I don't know about these white schools, but, nigga, when you growing up, nigga... In, in, in LA schools, nigga, let a nigga say something to the slow kid. We yeah, beating no. your ass. Yeah, we yeah. beating your ass. Ed, I didn't see it. And he might we get off. If he come from the right area, he go get off. Facts, nigga, but he nigga, super that retarded strip crazy. That's what I'm he saying. Beat the shit out yeah. your ass. Yeah. You say something to a slow nigga, we got on your ass, yeah. bro. And we yeah, beat your that ass. Playing this shit, that shit out, bro. Doing that. that shit out. To be honest, yeah. in high school, there is a kid named uh, his name was Charles, and we all called him Charlie Hustle. You feel me? He was special. You feel me? We really pumped their ass. Up. I was nigga, gonna make say, him feel fly he, as he fuck. Would, up no, him. You that's what me? I'm saying. Charlie, like, nigga, any, Charlie that, Hustle. Anything else is weird. If you went to Uni High circa 1998, you knew Charlie Hustle. I'm gonna just say that he was from South Central. He got bust every day to school. You've, and I'll tell you what, the fact his catchphrase. He got bust every day to school was crazy. His, well, they all say, yeah. His his, his, <laughs> yeah. his catchphrase was Charlie Hustle got all the hoes. You feel me? Because yeah. we told him that, mm -hmm. and we had that fool. Feeling fly as fuck, and if anybody was messing with Charles, we beating your ass. We, we on your helmets, ass. yeah, for and sure. that's how it should be, bro. Yeah. So talking about people with kids with disabilities and shit, that all that shit weird, bro. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. In, in war, nigga, I'm talking about niggas, mamas. I'm talking about all that, but I'm not talking about a, a, a motherfucker with a disability. You feel me? A nigga say something about my kid, I'm gonna say something about his kid, but I'm not saying nothing about nobody with disability. You feel me? I say something about you that got to do with your kids. I'm not going to attack your kid. You get what I'm saying? I totally I get it. I say you a bum-ass nigga who don't watch your kids or some shit like that. I'm not going to say th something about the kid. You get what I'm saying? Right. Type shit. Especially not no kid with disability, bro. This nigga's tripping. Well, and I'll say this. Charleston White, he has no boundaries. Yeah, nah. He don't give a fuck We about know that. that. He says things for reactionary, reactionary value. That's literally what he does. This is completely on brand yeah. for Charleston White. This is the same dude that said what he said about Nipsey. Same dude that he said about gangbangers like in general. Sense. We didn't like any of that, but this is just who he is, and we've kind of come to accept it to a certain degree. However, me personally, I'm terrified. I don't joke about things that I'm scared of. Retarded kids, you know what I mean? Special yeah, needs kids. I'm scared all. of that. You feel me? Yeah, cancer. I don't want my kids to turn out like that. So why would I ever say something about I won't joke about like that. that. I don't you know? joke about cancer. I don't joke about things that I'm scared of. Yeah. And that's just for Life me Life shit a nigga can't control, I'm not really going to say too much about. You yeah. feel me? Like a nigga can't control that, I ain't going to say too much about it. Especially you was born with some shit. You got that. So let's see what Woody had to say in response. Bricks on me. What he gonna do? He gonna do it. I ain't got a piece to this. I did exactly what I wanted to do. He hoping that he trolling me. He go viral. Then people can cuss in him a little two, three thousand dollars for a little interview. I own Charleston White. Words don't get me, man. 
Y'all gotta, y'all gotta go past it. Y'all gotta be able to a sucker like that. Well, if you know he can get to you, he gonna try everything. You, you're talking about my child. You wouldn't never say it in the of me. That, that's the difference between me. Like I know you need to be saying it on the internet. They won't say that right here. But I can put my hands on the car. I drop his head <laughs> like a bad habit. Would you ever deal with Tasha right again? Yeah, when he grow up. I'm unbothered, man. My little girl happy. She's a beautiful baby. She's she to have the best, amazing personality ever. You think I'm run by some some miserable little man saying? All we can do is for is it for him is pray. See what he wants y'all to he want what he trying to do, provoke me. He can try to tell everybody, I told y'all he ain't changed. I still gonna beat him in his own game, stupid. He trying to tell y'all that I ain't a changed person. Ah, he can't get hit to me. I love y'all back. I still love Charles White too. Me, my family, my daughter, her family, ain't none of us tripping about nothing that fool said. He's smart. Great. You know, yeah. That was real good PR work. Great response. And I'm response. sure he meant a lot of it too, though. Mm -hmm. But like, nah, that was, he's media trained. For sure. He's media trained, because that was smart. You feel me? He knew that, nigga, given a negative <laughs> response, a lot of people already don't like you. Yeah. So that wouldn't have been a good response to come yeah. back at it negative. People are looking for a, a way to hate you because, nigga, you, you told on niggas. Yeah. You feel me? So people are already not liking you. Yeah. So the best route to go was that exact one. I respect that. I think so, smart. too. I think he handled it as good as he possibly could have. There's That's really, like, to. you know what I mean? Like, I mean, what else are you supposed to say? You just said what you said yeah. about a nigga daughter, man. You, man... When I see you, man, he ain't finna say all that on it. Yeah, yeah. He, come he back, said what he was supposed to say. Tell him come back around, let's do an interview. I bet you Charleston White come up with a million reasons why he don't want to do an interview with that nigga. So right. what he don't got, so what he has no, like, legal ramifications for what happened, right? He's, he's not on any type of probation or anything like that, right? Is he's Because I'm assuming if, uh, if he was, that might even add another... <laughs> more reason as to why he was as he might be on probation just because nigga his life before the case or whatever but not from this case right but he might be he might have some type of consequences yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that that would make sense for yeah us. especially he, he all this court shit going on it just wouldn't have been a good idea to just get the yelling at your phone like, yeah i got some loose leaves so no nah, that was the that was the best way for him to go about Steve, that you got some loose leaves and I fought that nigga Charleston White a weirdo game. I yeah. He's gonna grab him in my bag. He's Some entertaining. Bad to that nigga boy. He ain't gonna, he not gonna live too long in the spotlight. He not gonna, I'll give that nigga five years at the max. What's the difference? Somebody gonna touch him. Besides entertainment value, because clearly uh, Charleston White's way more entertaining, but like, what's the, yeah, yeah we can throw it in there. What, what's, what's the difference between, um, w between Charleston White and like the takers and GBO Gassons of the world? Yeah, where nothing, do you not where do you much. draw the line? Um, I feel like all that shit is goofball shit, and I think because Charleston White might have like one good point in an hour podcast that people be like, "Well, he do be saying some real shit." Like, no, bro, he'll spew a nigga an hour of absolute nonsense.